Hey guys, over here in today's video, I'll be explaining why bots in Halo Infinite is very exciting. But before starting, according to YouTube statistics, a very small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you aren't subscribed and you end up enjoying the video, consider subscribing and let's start. So as you can see right here, again, this is part of that Halo Waypoints post from before that I already covered in my previous video. Basically right here, it is talking about the bots and yeah, let's start reading it. A new generation built to fight. After nearly 20 years of Spartan combat and experience to contend with, we know the Halo multiplayer arena can be sometimes a very daunting experience. To help to address this, a key pillar for Halo Infinite is going to be the most approachable and welcoming entry in the series to date. Again, this is very very important because we want Halo Infinite to be attractive to new Halo fans. We don't want people like to be scared away from the game because it is too competitive, because it's fact. Halo Infinite is going to be a very competitive game. I think that the BTB 2.0 is going to like help the situation a little bit, but still, the main arena is going to be very, very sweaty, even more than Halo 5 was. And it is very important for us to like be able to help these new players. Let's continue. To help assure all Spartans meet UNSC's high, high bar and have the skills necessary to succeed on the battlefield, we are excited to introduce the all-new Academy. Under the mentorship of Spartan Commander Lorette, the Academy offers players the opportunity to hone their skills and get better acclimated with their armaments and environment for Halo Infinite. Recruits will be able to dial in their marksmanship skills at the target at the target's range or jumps right into customizable training skirmishes and square off against AI controlled bots. This is big. But this is the thing. Halo Infinite, if they also wanted to have a very healthy competitive scene, they need to see new players entering it. And the best way is simply by having this. I think that Fortnite has a mode called Creative. Basically, on this mode, like you can play with your friends and just train. And this is why Fortnite, even though it was for the worst, because Epic Games didn't knew very well how to administrate things, and so it increased the ceiling, more people started playing on a more competitive level, and this is very important. And especially the bots are very, very big, a uh, very big, very big thing, because this thing, bots and the AI in general, not talking about Cortana, but the AI of the enemies was always very, very good. Like, except Halo 4. Halo 4 has, like, the worst AI. It has even worse AI than Halo C. And even though Halo C has a good AI, it's still, we expected it to improve, but it got very, very bad at Halo 4. But still, in general, the AI from Halo is very, very good, very, very advanced. With a lot of different things it can do, different weapons. And this is very important for this, because this way, Spartans, like, new Spartans, new players, will be able to have a more realistic experience on the battlefield, because... Especially, I know that some of Fortnite's bots are like very, very strange, so they won't shoot you. Like, there, there's some strange things, but I don't think that this is going to happen with Halo, Halo's bots. Because they're basically going to be able to operate very similarly to players, and not only that, but in general, like, equals. They will be able to shoot probably as well as a player normally would, especially later when they improve it, but still, this is very, very big. This way, they will be able to, for example, help a lot of new people to start to start playing and also people that already play halo simply to improve the game because there's a lot of people who really like halo but simply can't find a way to improve and this is going to be perfect for them and let's continue here training mode lets you con to configure specific loadouts deploy upon opponent bots in various skill levels as, uh, as i was saying before and practice your own term on your own terms bots can also be configured in custom games to tailor the experience and even fill in roster spots for M mia firefighting firefight members this is very very big imagine custom game matches with bots and this is the thing that's that some people are finding on the files of halo mc but it's confirmed to be in halo infinite it's simply going to be awesome imagine like they program bots for example for an infection game mode so they can fill more of the map they can literally make battlefields of 24 spartans feel like battlefields of 100 spartans and this is this is one of, of the things that i would love to see on btb 2.0 like a way that you can make custom matches on it that you can fill it to the brim with bots this would be awesome like in battlefront 2 that's a star wars game you have a lot of bots it is mostly bots actually in there but this m makes the whole battle feels to feel even bigger and in general it would be very awesome to see how how like what they can do with it and also especially for the foragers those guys 
we'll be able to do some crazy things with it. So I think that's it for this video. Give a like, share, and subscribe because it helps a lot. And see you in the next video. Peace.